Hey, welcome, Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. And I'm here with a little bit of an audio lab, I guess, <laughs> for me it is. And what came in is I'm gonna just do a little deboxing of this microphone here, which is a Yeti made by Blue, the Blue Yeti. Now this one is, uh, I, I, it's the blackout one, so it's, it's black. So it just arrived today, it was a little bit early. And let me show you real quick what I've been using and that you're listening to right now. This is why I've been going after this. This here is just a basic M1 microphone made by Boya and I have it connected with a 3.5 cord to a recorder, digital recorder and I just strapped it on with uh, you know rubber bands it's just one of those things that to be it's impromptu it's a coroidal meaning heart shape so the more sensitivity part is here, so I put a tape in here because this fluffy, I don't know, wind, wind <laughs> airbag is uh, is uh, kind of confusing which way you point it. So I just had to, since I'm doing the the channel on the fly a lot. And the other microphone I'm using is a small. I don't know if you can see this, it's a small lavalier and I'm not really sure it's also Boya and it has an on off for if you're using it with the camera and so this one's plugged into the camera at the end of this cord also with a 3.5 millimeter uh, connector and I'm just gonna clip it onto me right on my shirt now this is the boxing of this one and this one connects directly up to the to the uh, laptop camera now back here it's got some interesting things is showing it's got four settings so you put this in a nice light the four settings I'll even try and get a little closer with this all right this is the coroidal oh, the heart shaped one like um, carotid and all that kind of thing choroidal so it has a more sensitive it's like a range like just around the microphone so for this one the more sensitive part is on the front oh geez so think of it like like a little bit of a force field around it and it goes in like here and it goes out and it comes back and in like here so it's less sensitive here and more sensitive here and that's the choroidal and if you can hear them, put it down and it makes bumps. Because these are fairly sensitive microphones. But this one's pretty darn quality, I think. I haven't tested it out yet. And, but I'm definitely getting into some of this feature thing. So it has a switch, a dial, that can go to different, different sources. And here's the symbols, you can go stereo bi-directional so two different sides so two people talking say for example uh, interview and it even has these yeti cartoon characters depicting interview or instrument or duets and here's a omnidirectional for all around all around a sound field evenly or spaced and for N oh okay this is also in in French <laughs> so, so if you're if you're moving around or if you're outside perhaps uh, voiceovers this cardio cardioid because you can talk right into the center and get a and get a really good quality sound omni bi-directional stereo 
So, wow. Four settings that it can dial down in, in volume and, and, um, uh, and then it goes into the, the Yeti or, or <laughs> I think this is the Russian one for Bigfoot or Sasquatch or something. And, and so it has this whole uh, cartoon motif. And um, now let's look here. Just this deboxing, and this is the box part of. Uh, so it has uh, a tri capsule array inside, allowing for those different settings. There's a mute button, a master volume, there's headphone output with amplifier and volume control. So I believe this is like where you're sitting, setting your sound and you plug your headphones in to the microphone itself and you can gauge too loud, too soft, etc. You're monitoring yourself. There's a USB mini jack down below, threaded mic stand. So it can go onto, uh, uh, it can take go off the base and onto a stand. And then it has this custom base and the full polar pattern selector and gain oh and and that's like a kind of a, a a kind of an inner volume i don't know how to explain gain but it it affects that pattern if you ever um edit your sound and uh the volume's like out of the speaker the gain is like more like what's inside so here we go oh god it has a uh, it has a sticker <laughs> okay okay I'll just end it out of end it out a, a few seconds get a something to cut the sticker okay back a little I have a very dull knife and I like like it like that so I don't accidentally slip with that thing it makes for good unpacking and so it's uh, in and sealed up so let's see what oh I didn't want to ruin the box uh, okay um, there we go unpackaging, unpackaging the Yeti, Yeti microphone has this inner protected uh, it came in a larger uh, cardboard box as well okay so we explored the outer packaging with its features and now the inner packaging let me do this here Okay. I guess Max is getting more finicky as I get older. So this is running. This this microphone here is running on this this tape recorder. So the mic on this is half the soundtrack of this video, and the other half is the lavalier. So here we have that US the A USB to that, um, I guess that's a type of mini, I don't know. There's a, there's our instructions here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get too, I'm kind of exciting here. And I'm gonna get too uh, missing the point of this is to sort of show the microphone. So we have the, comes with the, uh, multilingual uh, specifications uh, well one of them's English oh I guess this one's English and this is other languages I just dropped it okay oh here we go that's the other languages and here's a English version because I'm sure my French is still rusty from high school Say open right up to that page. Uh, okay, important safety. 
and warranty. And basically that's that. So we can examine that stuff and get a chance. And this one here is your basic instructions. B123 of the Eddie. Oh. Which is plug it in your computer with a a USB jack, plug it into your headphones. It's basically kind of a plug and play. So you're not talking directly down on it, you're talking across on it. And it's showing you that. And the different buttons, and this is the different modes. Corrodal, Omni, Bi-Directional, Stereo the gain on that it's very important and there's a mute and a volume and okay it's not too in depth there's more instructions on the box upside okay and here it is oh my gosh that comes in this uh i think i'd save this because of the molded foam It'd be a protective space unless you got your own um place to put okay packaged all right there it is whoa wow um the yeti blackout okay so it's folded in like this and, and here's the plug into the computer cord so so on here let's get a closer On here we have the well first let's put it upright oh okay I have to move that way so here we go the the game the different pattern it can record with this is a really tight button it's, it won't just flip it's metal it's a dark matte painted black and here is that safety pad for when it is in this down position so it doesn't bump in there i suppose the mute And the volume. The volume is kind of, hmm, kind of has a weird feel to it. It's not as solid. This is a very solid clicky. This is very solid. The volume's kind of, eh, I don't know. And on the bottom, the headphone jack for 3.5 headphone. And that is the mini usb it's the squarish mini usb not the other and that so it goes there to the computer and that would be mounting onto the uh, tripod and then that would i think tighten up its position and and there it is Now, you notice this one here is a very small mic and it's just, uh, it goes like this, it's field. And uh, this little lavalier, I mean, these are pretty good microphones and all. They're good microphones. It just, but just a little bit of knocking around and the cords are crunchy and all this kind of thing and uh and i spent a hell of a lot of time editing the audio so it's time to invest and try out this one but it's only directly to the computer so you're gonna see how that works and that's the review i mean that's just the putting it out of the box that ain't even a review the Yeti. Okay.
Uh, this is the other part of the Yeti test. This is the Yeti unplugged, not plugged in. It's simply the MacBook internal microphone. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. song of that. <laughs> this is the Yeti microphone plugged in. Be sure to look at the settings. This is being recorded on Zoom. Be sure to look at the settings because I had my Yeti appear as a speaker. So it was selected as a speaker. Then I started to record, and it didn't record as a microphone. I I don't know why it showed up as a speaker. It selected as a microphone. I turned up the gain. Looks like three quarters of the way up. And I put it right below me. So it's about 10 inches from my face that way. So the same test. And it's a little more loose, as you can hear the base. I mean, the stand that it's situated in. Oh, how does this? One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. And here it is. It's also on stereo. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. I just put my chin. Okay. I, I don't know how fragile these are. And I don't want to find out. That's the test. Yeti. Blackout. Okay. Uh, forgive the video. I mean, I, this is... This is a low quality. I mean, I don't have much lights on. Just a screen light. And this is quick time movie player and the Yeti microphone is right over here and if you go into the settings if you plug it in it's plug and play you plug it in then you have to go into the quick time player make sure that that is your selected microphone so don't forget that part it's on the same setting that I had the other one it's on stereo and the gain is it looks like about three quarter of the way up on the knob and it's approximately one foot from my mouth that way and uh, testing one two three one two three one two three one two three and oh my And that's about, I don't know how much of a significant test it is. I mean, because I'm just using it on the Zoom, on the QuickTime, and it's just sort of a quick reference. And it's unadjusted. All of these are, I, I'm not adjusting a lot. I'm not really, I maybe volume, but I'm not adjusting these uh, sounds. They're just pretty much straight. Thanks, and hang loose.